Okay class, welcome back. This will be the part 2 of getting the resultant vector of our first example a while ago or in our previous video. So, ito pa rin given natin class. Then, nakuha natin kanina using the component method, the Rx and the Ry. Ngayon, kailangan natin malaman yung pinaka final magnitude and final angle and theta together with the direction. So, gagamit tayo ng formula. After natin makuha yung Rx, tanggalin ko muna to. So, meron tayo dito, class. Na natin. May formula tayo to get the magnitude. Magnitude, or yung R natin, small letter R. The formula to get the magnitude is this. R is equal to square root of Rx squared. Raise to natin yung Rx, then plus Ry squared. So, ito yung paraan para makuha natin yung final magnitude ng resultant vector natin. So, gawin natin, copy natin yung r equals square root. Yung rx, kaya natin ginawa tong component method na to, kasi to get the magnitude, kailangan natin yung rx saka ry, kaya kailangan mong gumamit ng component method. So, yung rx natin is negative, take note, you have to include the sign negative 24.44 then close parenthesis then wag kalimutan yung raise to 2 then plus then parenthesis ulit ry naman ngayon negative 22.24 then wag kalimutan yung raise to 2 so, ngayon, after natin gawin yan, lalagay natin sa calculator natin yan. So, ito calculator natin. So, may mga calculator na mas maganda dito. Pwede mong kopyahin na lang mismo yan. Lagyan mo lang ng... Huwag mo nalagay, of course, yung R. Okay, huwag ka na maghanap ng R dito sa calculator. Ito lang mga numericals lang ang lalagyan natin sa calculator. So, una, pag ganito ang calculator mo, para hindi ka malito, huwag mo muna ilagay yung square root. Sa dulo mo na ilagay yan. Ang una mo ilagay lang, ito lang nasa loob. Pero, may gagawin siya after pag nakuha mo na yung nasa loob. So, lagay natin, parenthesis. Okay, take note, hindi ko nilagay ng square root. Ito muna ako. Pag ganito ang calculator ko, uh, medyo bulok kasi yung calculator ko nito. So, parenthesis, negative, negative 24.44, parenthesis, raised to 2. Pwede kong gamitin dito yung x squared. Then, plus, Parenthesis, negative ulit, 22.24, close parenthesis, then x squared ulit, yung raised to 2. Then equal sign ko, may nakuha ko ditong sagot na 1,091.93. Pero hindi pa yun yung sagot kasi kailangan ko ilagay yung square root. So, lagay ko yung square root ngayon, lagay ko yung square root. Then, pindutin ko muna itong answer, ito yung ans dito, kung nakikita nyo. Pindutin ko yan, yan yung previews na sagot sa calculator, then equal sign. Then, ang sagot na lumabas ay, ito yung magiging final magnitude natin. R is equal to 33.04. Yan yung magnitude natin. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi kailangan natin makuha yung sunod na answer which is, kasi ito may R na tayo, kailangan natin yung theta. Okay, theta naman ngayon, may formula rin dyan. To get the angle, final angle. Okay, theta is equal to, yun yung formula natin, arc tangent. Okay, we read this as arc tan or arc tangent. Then, lagi tayo ng open and close parenthesis. Dito is the ry over rx. Kanina doon, Rx squared, tsaka Ry squared. Dito wala nang, 
wala nang squared, ry lang, ry at tandaan to, ry over rx. Then, substitute lang natin, so theta, yan yung hinahanap natin, copy natin, equals, arctan, mamaya tuturuan ko kayo paano ilagay ito sa calculator. So, ito, lagay natin parenthesis. Yung ry natin, lagay natin, ry is this, negative 22.24. Divided by or over Rx, which is negative 24.44. Then, close parenthesis. Then, lagay natin sa calculator natin yan. Lagay sa calc u. So, magiging, ito lang, yung arctan, may makikita kayong tangent dyan. Pero, hindi yan yung pipindutin nyo agad. Kasi, bago, pagka may raise to negative 1, arctan yan, lagay nyo muna shift. Shift. Then, tangent. May lalabas yung tan raised to negative 1. Then, parenthesis tayo. Ito na. Parenthesis. Lagay natin negative 22. Negative 22.24. Nalagay ko na itong taas. Then, over. Pwede tayong gumamit ng ito, yung ABC dito. Or pwede rin naman yung over. Or divide. Divided by negative ulit, 24.44. Then, close parenthesis. Then, ito na. 42, ang lumabas ay 42.3 or 42.30. So, dito ko na nalagay siguro sa next page. The final theta. Is 42.3. 42.3 or 42.30. Yan lumabas dito. Paresa naman yun. May 0 dito o wala. Paresa naman yun. So, 42.3 yung final theta natin. So, ang resultant vector natin yung resultant vector is equal to lagay natin yung magnitude kanina. Ito yun. Lagay natin yung magnitude. Um, 33 0.04 And then, lagay natin, comma, yung theta naman. Theta natin ito, 42.3 degrees. Lagay natin degrees lang kasi theta yan. Eh. Yan yung unit niya. And then, finally, we have to identify the direction. Ang direction ay nakadepende dito. Babalikan natin yung kaninang component method natin, yung solution. Ito, class. Okay? Kailangan kong may discuss ito ng maayos. Kasi after mong malagay yung magnitude and the theta or the angle, you have to identify the direction. Kung yan ba ay north of east, south of west, south. Pero hindi ka pipili dito, class, ha? Hindi bro, ito yung mga nakita mong direction, yung north of east, south of west, south. Yan na ilalagay mo dito. Ma-identify mo yan gamit yung sign ng Rx at Ry. Ang sign ng Rx mo at Ry mo, ito, class. Rx natin ay negative 24. Negative yan. So, the x component, yung Rx natin ay negative. Yung Ry natin ay negative din. So, para ma-identify mo yan, parehas negative, tignan mo yung kanina, ginawa natin, yung direction. Ito. Ito class, parehas negative yung Rx saka Ry. So, ito yun. Kung makikita nyo, ito yun. Parehas negative. Hindi ito pwede kasi isa ay positive, isa ay negative. Hindi rin ito pwede kasi parehas positive. Hindi rin ito pwede kasi negative positive. So, ito yun. Yung perfect na nagmatch. Par yung negative saka negative yung Rx, Ry. So, ito yung gagamitin nating direction. South, West. Hindi lang West ha. Hindi lang din South. Kundi ito mismo. South, West. So, lagay lang dito. South of West. Yan yung pinaka-final answer natin. So, the final answer of this given vectors, pag in sila, is equal to 33.04. Wait lang, kailangan pala ng unit. The unit is this, Newton. Para kompleto. 33.04 Newton, comma, 42 0.3 degrees, ito yun, theta. 
south of west south of west dahil yun dito dahil dito rx ry okay yung kanina nating ito nakuha okay paalala ko lang class na yung mga sign di ba after mo makuha to yung tatlo 1 2 3 Nung 1, 2, 3 din ng X and Y kumbo. I-identify mo yung sign. Kung parehas ba silang positive, parehas negative. Depende sa binigay. Vector A, halimbawa, ipapaalala ko lang. Vector A ay north of east. Ang north of east ay ito. North of east, north east. So, parehas positive. Kaya yung X mo dito, positive, positive din to. Okay? Then dito, yung pangalawa naman ay nakalagay ay yung vector B natin, south of west. So, ito, south of west, ito yun. South of west is both negative, rx at ry. Kaya parehas natin ginawang negative to. Nilagay natin negative sign, negative sign din to. Okay, then ito naman, south. Ito yung south natin, negative. Kapag ka north at south, ang babaguhin mo ng sign ay yung y component. Kapag east at west, ang babaguhin mo ng sign ay x component. Negative pag south, positive pag north. Positive pag east, negative pag west. Kaya ito, from 15, ginawa natin negative 15 kasi nga, ang nakalagay na direction ay south sa vector C. So, ito na yung final answer natin. So, this is what we call the component method. Getting the resultant vector. So, that's it. Thank you.